thought this is gonna be easy. Why? Mm. Yes, today I am going to assemble this shelf for you. This is from Ikea. What's up y'all, it's John Master Lee here and Clueless Lulu. Okay. What you are witnessing here is someone who is struggling to put together Ikea furniture, which I thought would take maybe five minute tops. But as you're gonna see in this video, it's taking pretty much about 30 minutes to put together the simple shelf. And that begs the question, why is Ikea furniture so difficult to put together? And that got me thinking, did a little bit of research, including some observational research here of my lovely wifey. And this is what I figured out. There are a number of different reasons here in terms of like why furniture of this nature, which seems like it should be just really simple to put together, is much more complex than it should be. And to understand why it's so much more complex, you have to look at the business goals of a company like Ikea. Now, Ikea is one of the biggest furniture stores in the world, not just because they have a huge footprint with each of their mega warehouses with 40 some in the United States and a whole bunch more around the world. They're huge in terms of the number of things that they ship volume wise. Millions of pieces of furniture shipped out every single year people buying it from all walks of life. But there is a particular clientele that loves Ikea furniture. And it's not just because of its Scandinavian, simplistic, minimalistic design. No. Part of that charm, part of that design aesthetic, and part of that charm comes down to the fact that their furniture is designed to be cheap. That's why we love buying from Ikea. You could fill up a whole living room, a whole house, our furniture on a great budget. And when you're designing things to be cheap, sometimes simplicity in assembly takes a, well, a notch or two down below this higher priority. As a company that prides itself in being budget friendly, they have to find ways to be able to ship such furniture around the world cheap. That's why the furniture you buy is affordable. Shipping is something that is on top of their mind. And it makes sense. Furniture is heavy. Not just heavy, but bulky. So the beauty of IKEA furniture, and really if you kind of think about like why it's such a beautiful business model, they figure out how to design every piece of furniture to collapse into a very small contained box that makes it easy for them to ship. First, they have to make it easily stackable, right? So it can't just be some awkwardly designed furniture where it's triangular in shape or round in shape. Everything, if you notice, Ikea is, is very angular, very square. And that makes it so that when they package it up, they can stack this thing all the way up to the top of every crate, cargo, ship, truck, you name it, so they can take advantage of cheaper shipping. And by nature of that, well, they have to design the furniture in a way that when it comes to assembly, it has to be easily collapsible into flat pieces that you can put together, which means sometimes it's a lot harder to put things together just for the fact that everything is easily shippable. Even if you had something that it's like a round a tabletop, they ship it in a box that is perfectly designed to be able to stack and ship. Now, the third reason in terms of like why ease assembly is further down the list. I know you thought it was maybe like one or two. No, it's the, at least fourth down the list. But this third reason, which before you guys start jumping all over me, hear me out. But IKEA furniture is designed so that it doesn't fall apart easily. Now, I know that doesn't make sense because this is budget furniture and I've seen IKEA furniture fall apart very easily. It usually comes down to the fact that the furniture is moved around the house or has to be taken apart because you know you want to be able to like rebuild it, if you will. IKEA furniture was never designed to be rebuilt easily. That's when things start to fall apart. So if you're moving, say, from one apartment to another apartment and you have to disassemble a desk or you have to jostle it around, yes, this kind of furniture can fall apart very easily. However, when you're first assembling this piece of furniture, things are designed to fit together very tightly. Everything has to be built exactly in a way where it fits and it doesn't collapse. And Ikea is so honed in on trying to make sure furniture is not dangerous that they spend a lot of time testing this and even adding additional features to the furniture to make sure that, well, people don't get hurt. It's a huge liability. So this particular shelf as an example, small plastic built, you would think 
easy to build? Well, it's not. It's not easy to build because as you can see here with Ludet struggling, it's very hard to make every piece fit together. You really had to push it very hard. In fact, this is why it took half an hour. It's Ludet struggling with all her might to be able to just connect the pieces so that they fit snugly together. And Ikea designs that in a very specific way, especially with plastic. It's not like a perfect fit. It is in fact a very difficult thing to wedge together. The part where you're trying to get it in to fit, you almost like have to really hammer it in. And that's so that it's not easy to take apart or jostle around so that it doesn't easily collapse. So that's what I mean by it's not easy for something to fall apart. It's because it's built to be very tightly fitted, which has its downsides, which is that if you do want to take it apart, good luck. Then it comes to the fourth thing that Ikea prioritizes in their business. And that is, you, then you got to make furniture that is easy to put together. To its credit, Ikea does put together instructions now that is a lot easier to follow. And for the most part, every piece that you need, if you look really, really carefully and follow it diligently, you will put it together in the right way. Now, mind you, I feel like every time I put together Ikea furniture, something is put on backwards or something seems to be like, I guess, screw it up. But when I go back and think about it, it's usually user error, meaning me, I screwed it up, or in this case, Clueless Lulu, not because of the instructions. It doesn't change the fact that it still seems like it's a lot more difficult than it needs to be, even if you have to follow to that T. And that's because Ikea's business, Ikea's business is not about building easy to assemble furniture. Seems like it is, given that they sell everything unassembled. It's designed to be a very streamlined business where they sell you budget friendly furniture and it's budget friendly in a way where other things like cheap shipping and furniture that holds together very well if you do put it together well and that, that's their business model it ultimately is solid construction even if all these other things seem to be a lower priority all right so here's my review of the veskin shelf unit here and when it comes to price well <laughs> this thing is dirt cheap 12 bucks, you can't beat it. That's a little bit on the small side, but it wasn't meant to be like a typical bookcase where you know you put books on it and whatnot. It's more like a bathroom caddy, something you kind of hide away in a corner. I'm actually using it in my closet to store my router and all that kind of equipment. So I wanted something small and kind of out of the way and works perfect. In terms of the quality, it's solid. As I said, it's really hard to put together, it's mainly because they design it in a way so that it won't fall apart easily. Legs are level. Now this thing can only hold about 10 pounds, so do realize the amount of weight and pressure I'm putting on this is under 10 pounds. And finally, well, now you've seen how difficult it is. So I rate this very low, definitely one of the more difficult pieces. Now, the caveat here being that it was my wife who put this together and she's pretty petite. So I think if you're a guy and you have some strength, it's probably a lot easier to get her to snap in together. But yeah, if you're a petite gal, uh, it's, it's a pain and you really can't use a hammer on this thing until the end where you kind of just tighten a couple things up. So there you go. Worth buying. Just get ready for a headache putting it together. This is my workout for today. <laughs> I know she. The last one. Oh, this is tall. This is the last piece that we're going to place on top of. This one right here. That 
means it's going to be a lot. The material, since it's made of plastic, I'm glad that I didn't break any of this since I already put all my weight. So that's impressive. Yeah? There you go, Ikea. Oh, it worked with hammer.